everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when visiting Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Located in the Chihuahuan Desert in New Mexico, this vast cave system is fascinating to behold. Below the surface, you will see over 100 caves that intertwine for miles. Before we get started, if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you stick around until the end of the video, we're going to discuss our own trip to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Know before you go. As of right now, reservations are required to enter the cave and you must book your entrance prior to arriving at the park. There is a $15 entrance fee for adults and children under the age of 15 are free. Be sure to check the National Park website linked in the description below to see what the current entry fees are. When in the caves, it can be dark and chilly. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes and dress accordingly. Also, there is no food or drink other than water allowed in the cavern. Don't worry though, there is a lunchroom at the bottom where you can grab a bite to eat if you're hungry. Carlsbad Caverns National Park is located right next door to Guadalupe Mountains National Park. So if you plan ahead, you can knock out two national parks at once. Things to do, exploring the caverns. Naturally, exploring the vast caverns is the main activity in this park. You can meander down the mile and a quarter natural entrance to the cavern below, or take the elevator down 754 feet. They have ranger guided tours through the big room, which is a mile and a quarter loop, or you can take the trail at your own pace for a self-guided tour. Whichever way you choose, you will marvel at the impressive formations within the caves. The Bat Flight Program. If you want to get the full Batman experience, then taking in the night bat flight program is for you. Each summer evening, you can take a seat at the Bat Flight Amphitheater to witness thousands of bats exit the caverns. There is no fee for the show, and photography or film of any kind is prohibited. Take the Walnut Loop Scenic Drive. After you take in everything there is to behold below the Earth's surface, you can take a drive along the Walnut Loop Scenic Drive to catch a glimpse of what's above ground. Hiking. There are several trails for all hikers above ground in the park for you to get out into and experience the desert terrain. Walnut Canyon Overlook is the shortest trail, while the Guadalupe Ridge Trail is a 100-mile hike for serious backpackers and backcountry campers. Where to stay? Carlsbad Caverns National Park offers no overnight lodging or campground. There are a few motels and RV campgrounds right outside of Carlsbad Caverns, located in White City, New Mexico. Carlsbad, New Mexico is about a half hour away from the park entrance and offers numerous hotel options. We'll put a link in the description below with some of the spots where you can stay. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we're going to discuss our own trip to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. So what is one piece of advice you would give to someone visiting Carlsbad Caverns? Well, this park is pretty remote. I think that if you're visiting this area, there's a pretty good chance you're staying in Carlsbad and you've kind of made a trek to get there. You have to plan ahead a bit because there's really nowhere to eat other than maybe one or two spots within 30 minutes of the park. White City is the entrance right outside the park and there's like an RV camp, um, maybe a couple small hotels, a couple of kitsch stores and a cafe. And then when you get in the park, there's a space to eat 700 feet below ground. And I saw the food offerings and if I was hungry, I'd probably still be hungry after I ate there. So it's important to plan ahead when you're visiting this park because it is a bit of a destination. I think it's just one of those that know you're going somewhere that's pretty remote and be prepared. Um, it's probably one of the more remote parks in that Guadalupe mountain range is one of the more remote areas we've been. Yeah, I would have to say my advice would be, um, well, there's really like two parts to it. There's two ways that you can enter into the caverns. You can either take the natural entrance down or you can take the elevator. I would say if you're short on time and you, um, you know, maybe you're going to Guadalupe Mountains or you have somewhere else that you're going to go and you're just there for half day, I would say take the elevator down. It's going to cut down your time. I think they said it was about an hour and a half to take the natural entrance down and then probably at least another hour, hour and a half walking through the caves. Now, I, I say do the natural entrance on the way down because it gets pretty steep on the way up. And after we walked through the caverns, we were like, no, we're not going to take that steep hike back up. Yeah, so we did I, elevator both ways. I don't think you get you feel shortchanged by doing the elevator. 
No, and, and not at all. If you've been to the park and you did the natural interest, let us know. Maybe we did miss something, but I didn't feel like I missed caverns by not doing, by taking the elevator. No, we had plenty of time to take in and walk through the big room and see everything that we wanted to see. Um, if we went back, we probably would take the natural entrance just to see what we've missed. But um, we had a great time just and, and we skipped the line and just took the elevator up and down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from Carlsbad Caverns, be sure to check out our vlog up on our channel now.